Hello everybody, welcome to this video where I'm going to explain what I think should be doing with um, WWE for the next few months as far as relating to um, AJ Styles and Carl Anderson and etc. And, and the gallows, you know, this, this so-called Balor Club as, as it's been known through the wrestling community on the internet. Um, and this has been further thought about by me in the last hour or so. <laughs> yeah, okay, I've only thought about this for an hour. But, shh. Um, but it's, the news has come to me that last night, so 21st of April, uh, at a house show, at an NXT house show in, in, in America, Finn Balor lost the NXT title to Samoa Joe. Now, this is big. Um, for Well, there's a number of rumours going around. Number one is that Finn Balor has become injured, so therefore he's unable to defend the title, so they chose to take the title off him. Um, or number two, and this is um one that's a lot more popular, is that Finn Balor is now coming to Raw. Um, apparently, I've not seen this yet, but apparently a video rose of after the event, Finn Balor saying to a fan, I'll see you on Raw on Monday. Now we know that Finn Balor's the biggest troll on the planet as far as, <laughs> as, far as things like that go. You know, he, he, he's, he, he's, he's such a tease. So it's hard for us to believe if this is right or not. Um, but if it is, then it's a very, very big deal. Um, now, obviously, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows have recently debuted and it was um, worked upon on Raw this past Monday, the 18th of April edition, um, that obviously there's history between AJ Styles and the other two, Gallows and Anderson. Um, they, it was very much discussed about how they were friends in Japan, they'd worked together in Japan and they, they were very, very close. <coughs> um, so, and we also, uh, but then you saw AJ's um, displeasure at the at them attacking Roman Reigns. It was quite evident that he wasn't happy about how that went. Now, obviously that could be a ruse um, and it could lead to something happening at payback and then with, with this happening with, with Finn Balor making these statements um, one could argue that he can come to Raw they can also work upon his friendship with with Gallows and Anderson um, I do believe they've said multiple times that not on not on air obviously because well, why would they <laughs> that though that Balor and Anderson are in fact best friends. Um so that can be worked upon, you know. Now what I what I want to see happen, right, is for the to be sort of a face off between AJ and Finn Balor for control of Balor Club. Obviously both of them have been leaders of Bullet Club in Japan. Um, and it would and it would be good if we could have some fantastic matches between both of them for who gets to be the the leader of Battle Club. Um, honestly, I can't say which I prefer to be the leader of the club. If it's if they're going to call it Battle Club, it makes sense for Finn Balor to be the leader. Um, Meanwhile, once once that's done and they've got a leader, I think the next the next step would be um, for if they feuded with with, a, with another stable. Now, obviously, there's there's four of them. There's only one other four member stable at the moment, and that's the Wyatt family. Now, granted, both Harper and Wyatt are currently injured, so this could be difficult to pull off um, but you could get 
but if if they're healthy and return soon enough, then you've got some really good matches to work off. In fact, um, and they could they could have a series of matches for a couple of paper, two or three pay per views, um, like like Ballot Club win one, the Wyatts win one, and then the next, the last one is some sort of um, stipulation match. To uh, as the as they blow off to the feud, the the rubber match, as it were, um, and also something I haven't touched on yet, and this is what I'm going to do now. Seth Rollins should be due back very very soon. He was injured at the end of October. He sh- he's supposed to be back quite soon, hopefully in the next couple of months, and it's expected that he's going to return and become one of the biggest baby faces that there is, which I'm quite happy to see. Um, he's been a heel the entire time he's been top card. So it's we know he can do it. He was a he was a face. I think almost his entire NXT run. I'm sure he's played both parts in other promotions as well. Uh, obviously, Tyler Black was a fantastic heel, um, and but yeah, he's going to come back as a baby face, and I think he's going to want to try and make amends with with. Dean, Ambrose, and Roman Reigns. It's not going to be an easy task. Obviously, there's a lot of bad blood between all of them. Obviously, not so much. Obviously, there's no bad blood Roman and Dean. They're they're tight like bros. But obviously, those two both have reasons to doubt the sincerity of Seth Rollins. Shall we say? Um, I think it might be a lot easier for Roman to come around. He never really had a lot of trouble with Seth. Um, to be honest. Um, but Dean, he's going to be the tough nut to crack. Obviously, you think of everything that's happened over time since the Shield broke up. They've had... I mean, now, obviously, that was 2014, so that's two years ago that the Shield broke up. And the, so they've spent more time apart now than they did as a unit. And what's so obviously they had the feud they had the first feud. Um they had they had money in the bank where where Seth cost Dean the, the money in the bank bank briefcase and took it for himself. They had the feud the feud the personal feud, they had the feud for the title after Seth Rollins won it. You had the one, you had the part where where um, Seth curb stomped Dean through a cinder block. Yeah, there's a lot that Dean's gonna hold personally uh, in that respect. So I think it's gonna take a lot to win them over, but eventually I I think it should happen um, because then we can get the Shield versus Balor Club. And that, I believe, could be some serious money. I'm not saying bring back the Shield full time, not at all. Obviously, the Shield is a thing of the past and should stay there for the most part. But that's not to say don't have reunions for one offs. I mean, they've done DX is reunited before, um, for like, they've done one night only reunions of various t- tag teams for common enemy purposes or for one night only nostalgia purposes and they could do that with S.H.I.E.L.D. if all three of them are babyface or all three of them are heel. Obviously, Dean Ambrose is one of the most popular guys on the on the roster and he plays this, the character he's playing, he does it very, very well. Roman Reigns is struggling to get over but when he was with the S.H.I.E.L.D. all three of them were over as hell. It was one of those cases where the crowd, the crowd ended up turning them face because the crowd loved seeing the shield. And so yeah, 
Obviously, and I believe those matches could be big, big draws if you have the Shield versus the Balor Club. The only issue that I believe this could, this causes is that eventually, at some point down the line, fans are still clamouring to see the Shield triple threat. Just the three Shield former Shield members in a triple threat against each other. The closest we've ever got was last year's Fatal 4-Way match. I think it was last year's payback um, with the Fatal 4-Way match between all three S.H.I.E.L.D. members and Randy Orton. And this is and this is where my whole theory about Seth Rollins wanting to reunite the team came, came about because if you remember that match, they did the triple bomb to Randy Orton and Seth Rollins seemed to be enjoying that moment. He seemed to be very, very much in that moment Maybe it was just in that moment, but you could sort of see he missed it. And maybe he wants to get it back. It'll be a very interesting couple of months anyway. Let's just see, say that. Not really much I can say about that. Um, do I want him to keep the title on Roman Reigns or not? Um, I don't know. Really, is outside of... This is there really anyone else who could hold the title? Um, and obviously, there's going to be money in the bank in the meantime, and that's either going to be Sami Zayn or Kevin Owens, I believe. Um, so, th- which I do love the fact that Sami Zayn's straight there. He's already on that level where we can be considering him for things like the money in the bank and therefore the title. Um, and it really does show. Um, how things are getting better. I mean, obviously NXT call-ups don't always work. And the Ascension, Adam Rose and Tyler Breeze could all tell you this. Um, but there's a lot of times when it's done and it's done right. And Sami Zayn seems to have been done perfectly. Like I said, he's already in these high-profile matches every week. He doesn't. He might not win them, but... We're at this point where the matches he's having this early in his main roster career, it doesn't matter if he loses them. He's still getting that exposure. And they could use they could use the fact that he's losing and um, retain the, this under this um, underground underdog thing that he's always had. The same as it was in NXT. You remember he won the title of of Neville. And he'd said that if he couldn't win that match, he was going to retire. Because he, he was always this underdog who, did, who nobody believed could get it done. So they should all, maybe they could keep doing that. But really, that's my thoughts on this for now. Um, and that's really all I can say. Um, leave comments below if you disagree or agree or have any other ideas or expand upon things I've said. Leave them down there and we'll be back and we'll see you in the next vid. Laters!